Christians don't hate those who are LGBTQ. If anyone tells you that Christians hate them, it's not true. They just don't agree with their outlook on marriage. Beware of apostasy. There are fake Christian preacher frauds who have risen and distorted the truth behind what Christianity stands for. They may state that Christianity is okay with same-gender marriage, and that God created it. This is not true. Those preachers are apostates. Everyone has the freedom to voice their opinion. You may have developed animosity towards Christians and those who don't agree in general with your outlook on marriage. Well, then what's the point of having an opinion? You have your clan who has the same opinions, so what more do you want? This is still a free country, so don't force your opinion on others. Call out those from either side who are spouting hate. This goes for both Christians and those of LGBTQ. Hate-filled comments are not a good look for any community. There are plenty of non-Christian organizations who will take your requests. Thus, there's no reason to try to get Christians in trouble out of your bitterness. If you're a good person, then surely you wouldn't believe that those who do not agree with your opinion, should be locked away in jail for it. Such is the way of the new gay marriage law. If you're a good person, no matter what you are, you'll stand against this. Leave children out of it. Their undeveloped brains are too young to be pondering the meaning and statistics of gender. Christians are not homophobic. This is the fear of gays. Christians do not fear them. They simply don't agree on marriage. If any LGBTQ's life is on the line, of course a true Christian would do anything in their power to save them. Thank you for taking the time to listen. May God bless you and your household.